Alright, all you Germans fans with the Jetta TDI, we're gonna put some race lands. We're gonna start lifting it up and start taking out the wheels. Alright, let's see what does it come in the box. My guy right here opened it, he gets a keychain here. Let's see. Yeah, I think he already took it out. Oh, uh, yep, he took it out already. And uh, we ordered the mounts for it. I don't know why they don't include it, the whole package, but it is what it is. Here's the front, nice and blue. And let's check the rears. Here's the rear mount. Extractions, we don't need that. We throw that in the garbage. Oil spring, rear shocks. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, the rear adjustable spring thing, major. Just like that. Let's see what else. The spinner wrenches. You got little knobs. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna start taking out the wheels. Right? Buddy Opel uh, took the steel sheet off, the splash shield, took some um, bolts off. They're a little, what, T20? There was like a few ones here. He just wanted to do it much easier. So I, if it was me, I'll just move these off, but he just wanted to remove everything. Now we just need to start removing these. I think they're, these look like 17s and start removing that. All right, we just did this side first. Now we're gonna do this side to show you guys. We're gonna grab a 16. If you do it on the ground, might as well get jack stands just to hold it. And we'll start taking this apart. And then the two 16s, start loosening them up. Then you lower your uh, jack stand or spin jack, whatever you guys have. Then start removing it with some force. Now this thing's loose. You just want you to put your jack stand or spin jack underneath it. Then I think we have to reuse the rubbers. Wait, how it came out from the stocks uh, coils. Now we're installing the raceline coils. I don't know if it, does it fit in there? I don't know. Hmm. The bottom piece. No, okay, this room will start removing the bottom piece then. All right, metal on metal, I guess. All right, that's what we did. We did the things at the same time. We reused the rubber pieces on the bottom and put the adjuster on the top because we can't really find really any good instructions. And then we use a spin jack or use a car jack to hold it in place. Now we're gonna start putting the new shocks on. Start snugging the bolts up. Scripts. Just took it off with the vice grips. Let's do the other side now. Uh, we just took up the 18 millimeter that's holding the strut, and we use vice grips because I do not have that stupid tool to hold it. So now we're doing the other side. Good. Yep. Are you trying it? Cool. All right, guys, we got the one side done. We're gonna. It took us a while to figure out. We now we know what to do. What size sockets we needed to have. Um, we had to use a 24 chrome socket because that's the only thing we have. Start taking it apart. 12 point. Put it on. Dis disconnect it. Put that 
bitch away. Now, well, we're just gonna disconnect that, and that's a 10 millimeter. And if you, this is the stock size, I think it's 17 or 16. And see if it comes out easier now. Yeah, well, it's fine because I like showed up and I was like, yeah, no, but it's a letter. But we're gonna use this to just tap the bitch out. Keep going. See, you almost got it. I just don't want it to drop too aggressively, you know. I don't think we're gonna drop it too much. I think it's there. So might as well just start losing the 13 millimeters up top. <clears throat> oh, this leaf, man. Wiggle the bitch out. There she is. Compared to the Racelands. And now we're gonna put the Racelands on now. And then my buddy goes up and I hold tight then we're gonna use a transmission jack underneath the control arm and start playing with it uh, let's go with damn it I'm fucked up let's go this way right yeah we go this way and slowly put in the CD axle right Let me go back down. That one pumping nice and slow. Keep going. Good. Everything looks good, right? Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. I think it's in the hole, right? Yeah, I think it's in the hole. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna grab the bolt. Add some sub glide or any type of grease. Then we're gonna zip zip and grab some vice grips to hold it. I know I don't have the tool, but gotta make things work what you got. Alright, we're gonna zip it down. Now I'll put back the uh, tie right on square bar link and that's pretty much it and then put everything back together we're gonna show you guys in a second all right there she is we're gonna see how she is well when we put on the ground i put everything back on pull, I pull loctite and everything's back on perfectly let's put the wheels back on. Okay. the wheel gaps is pretty pretty much better than it was nothing too crazy doesn't want to go too low how the rear looks. And we're gonna test drive it right now. Yeah, ready. That's how she feels. Think about it right now. It's really not that bad. Uh, well, how is it like, compared to the stock uh, suspension right now? A little stiffer. Okay. But not nothing really drastic. Well, the thing is, I noticed right now the these race lines are not that bad compared to other ones that I used to ride on other people's vehicles, and they're not as harsh. No. And plus, we didn't change the stiffness or the softness on the dampening yet. So uh, I'll let you guys know uh, later on. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, drive safe and stay dirty.